hello, welcome. Pause the video and try this problem out for yourself, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so it says here that it will ask us which graph represents a cosine function with no horizontal shift, okay? No horizontal shift, I'll underline that, and an amplitude of two and a period of two pi over three. So before I even look at these choices for myself, I'm thinking about the cosine function. And I'm going to sketch that out for you because uh, maybe that'll help as well. So when we're thinking about cosine, um, this is what I think about. I think that it has a period, the parent function uh, of cosine, just y equals, this is y equals the 1 times the cosine of x. Okay. This is the regular cosine function. Here I'm going to put pi. Here I'm going to put halfway between 0 and pi, or pi over 2 and then 3 pi over 2 here. I just put my landmarks in, and then I'm thinking, well, it kind of toggles between positive 1 and negative 1, the amplitude here, and it looks something like this. Okay. Okay, so I'm just thinking about these points. So first of all, it says there's no horizontal shift, which is a relief because usually that's difficult to deal with. So here, that means that my cosine function is not b being moved around right at all back or forward so we can just leave that alone but what is happening let's look at the amplitude first my amplitude of two all right that just means that so let's do that let's put a two here let's change the function okay if i put a two there i stretch it vertically every function does this by the way i stretch it vertically by a factor of two so my amplitude becomes two and that mean that just means that the distance from the midline right here to the max or min of my wave is two. That distance is two. All right, so I look at all my graphs. Oh no, it doesn't help, right? All the amplitudes are going from two, the old amplitude of two, because we can see each wave cycle between positive two, negative two. Uh, but the period is two pi over three. So they're saying that one cycle completes, let's change that, make that change as well, uh, not at over two pi, but two pi over three. So all of these things are div divided by three pi over 6, this is 3 pi over 6, All right, 1 6, 2 6 is a third. So essentially everything gets cut into thirds. And that also changed our equation a little bit here. It'll change the coefficient of x. So the relationship between that coefficient, we'll call it k, and the period for cosine and sine is this, 2 pi over the period equals that coefficient k. And for a tangent, tangent function, it would just be pi over the period because it has a different cycle, wavelength. So here we're told that the period is 2 pi over 3. So if we plug that into our, our equation right here, we get k equals 2 pi over 2 pi over 3. Okay, we're dividing by a fraction, so we keep change flip. So that's just, what does that mean? That just means k is equal to 2 over pi times keep the first thing, change the sign from division to multiplication, and then flip my fraction here. These will cancel out, and k is just 3. That's where this 3 comes from, right? That's the coefficient of x. Okay. All right. Well, what that also means is that it takes 2 pi over 3 to complete one cycle, but if we look at all of our options here, there's a 2 pi over 3, but there's Several cycles that are completed here. So I'm going to cross that out. Same thing here. Several cycles are completed there. And here in these two choices, we can see that there is one, two, and three waves of the function. And here we can see that there's one. So you just go from a, a valley to a valley. Two and three waves of the function. Now, the, the choice here has got to be choice 3, even before I connect my fraction to 2 pi, because here, this is more of a sine shape, 1, as a sine wave, 2, and 3. The cosine wave is the sine wave shifted, but they never said whether the coefficient here is positive or negative. Here, it's negative, right? So they reflect it, so it kind of goes like this. Right, that's the real change happening right there. I can do that better. So we go up. Boom. 
when you multiply by a negative coefficient here, this is negative 2, the amplitude is still positive 2. It's the absolute value of this number, the amplitude. The absolute value of negative 2 is still 2, and that equals the amplitude. But um, by multiplying by negative 2, it will reflect it over the x-axis. And furthermore, the period here is still 2 pi over 3, because here what happens is there are three cycles of the wave in 2 pi radians. So that's, by definition, what is period? Period is the length it takes to complete a cycle. Well, it completes three waves in 2 pi radians. So the period is 2 pi over 3, whereas the frequency would be the reciprocal of that, three cycles of the wave in 2 pi radians. But here, right, you can see 2 thirds times 3 is 2. So it takes 1, 2, 3 cycles. Uh, it, it takes 2 pi radians to complete 3 cycles of this wave. All right, I hope that helps.